Imagine if a whole world could be like a healthy human body. So when we take the scientific foundation of fractals and apply that to our world, then we say, look, you want to understand how to have an economy? Cells get paid. You know, and it's interesting, they're not communists in the sense that the skin cell and the nerve cell gets the same amount of money, man. The nerve cell makes a lot more money, <laughs> but its job is much, it's a much greater job. A skin cell makes less. Every cell is paid according to its job. But basically it says this, there's no success in the system until every cell has gotten its pay and every cell has done its job and every cell contributes to the whole of the community and then you look inside that community and you figure my goodness how do they figure all that out and the answer is well as above so below so if we look at the nature of how it works inside then we are given evidence through nature and through fractal geometry of how to do the same thing out here in our world and then when you start to look at that that's what my work started to extend and go wait a minute we as individual humans are like cells in a larger super organism called humanity and what this new work that I'm involved with spontaneous evolution is concerned about is we're on the uh, on the threshold of an evolutionary leap it's not the evolution of the human the humans already evolved we're not evolving and changing. It's the organization of humans that is evolving and changing. And in the biosphere, we talk about humans collectively as an organism, as a superorganism. So it's civilization that's evolving. And then when you put all these pictures back together, you say, wait, if it's all built on fractals and it's all built on repetitive patterns, then the evolution of civilization would be a fractal image of evolution that has already been played out before. So if we could go back in the biosphere to lower levels, see how the steps of evolution were accomplished, apply that information to our civilization, then we can make the necessary jump that uh, we're being forced to make right now.